Okay guys, it's time to review our division uh, assignment. So I did uh, A already for you guys in the last video, 18 divided by two is nine. So let's jump right to B. So it says 21 divided by three. How many threes does it take to get to 21? Well, I know 10 times three is 30, so it's gonna be less than 10. So from there, I can just look at my multiples and say, well, what times three equals 21? I should know these ones. We've been working on it for mad minutes. So I know seven times three is 21. So if seven times three is 21, then 21 divided by three is seven. C, 32 divided by eight. Well, eight times 10 is 80, so we know that it's gonna be less than 10 by quite a bit. Um, how many eights does it take to get to 32? Well, two eights is 16, uh, three eights is 24, four eights is 32. So if four times eight is 32, 32 divided by eight is four. Uh, next question, 45 divided by five. Five times 10 is 50, so I know the answer is less than 10. So how many fives does it take to get to 45? Well, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It takes me nine fives to get to 45. So nine times five is 45. 45 divided by five is nine. Going to E, we have 60 divided by six. Here's one of those ones where you look at it and you say, well, what's the answer gonna be close to? It should help you out quite a bit. Uh, if I know 10 times six is 60, I've already figured out the answer. I don't have to go up or down at all because if 10 times six is 60, 60 divided by six would be 10. To G, uh, G is 91 divided by seven. Now I know seven times 10 is 70, so my answer is gonna be more than 10. Uh, so let's start off with that. Uh, by the way, seven times 20 would be 140. That's way too much. So it's gonna be 10 and something. So I'm gonna put my 10 up here. I'm gonna say, well, 10 times seven is 70. What do I have left over? Well, 91 minus 70 is 21. So now my question is 21 divided by seven. How many sevens does it take to get to 21? Well, it takes three, seven, uh, 14, 21. So if three times seven is 21, that means we've got uh, uh, 10 plus three more, which is 13. 13 times seven is 91. 91 divided by seven is 13. Looking at H, we have 80 divided by five. Once again, we know it's gonna be more than 10 because 10 times five is 50, but we know it's gonna be less than 20 because five times 20 is 100, so that's too much. So it's gonna be 10 and something. So 10, let like me say 10 plus something is gonna get us this answer. 10 times five is 50. That's gonna leave us with 30 left over. 80 minus 50 is 30. Now 30 divided by five is six. So our answer is 10 and six, which is 16. 16 times five is 80. Scrolling down. I'm gonna look at the bottom of this page. Uh, I is 68 divided by four. I know four times 10 is 40. And by the way, uh, four times 20 is 80, so that would be too much. So I know it's gonna be 10 and something. Uh, 68 minus 40, that's 28. I know that 28 divided by four, that's seven. So I have 10 and seven, so my answer would be 17. 54 divided by three, well, three times 10 is 30, and uh, three times 20 is 60. So it's gonna be between 10 and 20. I know it's gonna be 10 and something else. Uh, 10 times three is 30, which would leave me with 24. I know eight times three is 24. So that means my total would be 18. 18 times three is 54, so 54 divided by three is 18. Next question is 90 divided by six. Another one of those ones where I know 10 times six is 60, uh, 20 times six is 120, that would be way too much. So it's gonna be 10 and something. Uh, 10 times six is 60, which would leave me 30 left over. 30 divided by six is five. So 10 and five is 15. 15 times six is 90, 90 divided by six is 15. Last question on this page is 96 divided by eight. Well, I know uh, eight times 10 is 80, Eight times 20 is 160. That's way too much. It's gonna be 10 and something. 10 times eight, 10 and something. 10 times eight is 80, which will leave me with 16 left over. 
16 divided by 8, well, it only takes two 8s to get the 16, right? 8 plus 8, so that's two more. 2 times 8 is 16. So I have 10 and 2, that's 12. All right, let's jump to the other side of the page. We'll review these ones. So m is 12 divided by 2. Well, I know that's going to be less than 10 because 2 times 10 is 20. So uh, 20 divided by 2, well, it takes 6 2s to get the 12. So 6 times 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Uh, next question, 24 divided by 4. Well, I know 4 times 10 is uh, 40, so it's going to be less than 10. How many 4s does it take to get to 24? Well, it, it actually takes 6 of those too. 6 times 4 is 24, so 24 divided by 4 is 6. Uh, 40 divided by 8. Well, 8 times 10 is 80, so it's got to be less than uh, 10. In fact, I know that 5 times 8 is 40, so 40 divided by 8 would have to be 5. Uh, P, 45 divided by 9. Well, it's uh, another one of those ones that I know it's less than 10 because uh, 10 times 9 is 90. So 45 divided by 9, well, it takes 5 9s to get to 45. So 45 divided by 9 would be 5. 80 divided by 8, well, it's one of those ones you look at and you say, oh, wait, if I think to myself, what's 10 times 8? 10 times 8 is 80, then I already have my answer. When I was trying to do the estimate for it, I found the exact. Uh, R is 77 divided by 7. We've looked at these ones throughout the year, but let's say we didn't know it and we're just going to go with 10 to start with. We know that 10 times 7 is 70, so that would leave us with 7 left over. It takes 1 7 to get the 7, right? 7 divided by 7 is 1, so that means we have 10 and 1, 11. We've looked at that uh, pattern quite a bit throughout the year, though. 52 divided by 4 is S. All right, so I know that's going to be more than 10 because 4 times 10 is 40, but I know it's going to be less than 20 because 4 times 20 is 80. So 52 divided by 4 is going to be 10 and something else. 10 times 4 is 40. 52 minus 40, well, that's 12. 12 divided by 4, well, it takes three 4s to get to 12. So we have 10 and 3. 13. 52 divided by 4 would be 13. 90 divided by 5. Well, I know 5 times 10 is 50. I know 5 times 20 is 100. So it's going to be 10 and something. Uh, 90 divided by 5. So let's start with 10 times 5. That's 50. That's going to leave me with 40 left over. 40 divided by 5. Well, it takes 8 5s to get to 40. So my answer is going to be 10 and 8, which makes 18. Just a couple questions left. I'm going to scroll down so you can see the bottom of the page. U is 48 divided by 4. So I know 10 times 4 is 40. I know 20 times 4 is 80, so it's going to be 10 and something. 10 times 4 is 40, which would leave me with 8 left over. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 10 and 2, that gives me 12. 12 times 4 is 48. 48 divided by 4 is 12. 78 divided by 6. I know that 10 times 6 is 60. I know 20 times 6 is 120. So it's going to be 10 and something. 10 times 6 is 60. That would leave me with 18 left over. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And it takes three sixes to get to 18. So that leaves me with 13. 90 divided by 3. Well, I know 10 times 3 is 30, 20 times 3 is 60, 30 times 3, oh, look at that, 3 times 3 is 9, so 30 times 3 would be 90. So this answer is just 30. That's all we have to worry about. Our very last question is 99 divided by 9. Well, I've been looking at ones like this before, but let's just start off by saying, well, we know it's going to be 10 and something. 10 times 9 is 90, which would leave us 9 left over. Uh, 9 divided by 9, well, it only takes one 9 to make 9. So that means it would be 10 and 1, 11. 11 times 9 is 99. 99 divided by 9 is 11. Hope that helps, guys. Have a great weekend.